Yay. So, I, uh, I did my refrigerator compressor, <laughs> updated the software, and soldered it in there, finally. It took, I guess, about 15 tries to get that one there. And it finally, is for, apparently, is sealed. No bubbles with the soapy water. Oh my god, what a test. Um, anyway, we got, it's working. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to think about moving it in until it's worked and, and, my, and functions for over a month out here. Because it's a big deal to move this thing in. It barely fits in there. Uh, anyway, and that's a big story too. i got to take the doors and everything off. I mean, the, the doors off the house and everything. Anyway, and off this. Anyway, <laughs> but it's uh, it's been we finished it up before the concert yesterday, and uh, <laughs> it was a trial. It really tested me. Anyway, I love this refrigerator. It's the only refrigerator I can remember ever buying new, just for me. So. And it's a Ken Mori League. It's a bad, bad to the bone refrigerator, but there's a lemon on the compressor. They've updated these compressors now, linear compressors, and I guess they work now. It seems to be working great. And uh, I'm going to watch and see. Okay, anyway, as soon as this mess is cleaned up, then we can get back on to the solar trike update. And all them solar cells just waiting to get on now. They're going to be so beautiful. Yeah. And it's going to be lighter and stronger and powerful. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, we're about ready to get started here. Um, we've got the pieces cut for the new frame, for the new solar cells. Make sure what they look like. They're beautiful. And they're lighter, and they're twice as powerful. So, it's going to be goodbye to the little little solo as it exists now it's going to evolve into a chicken pen warmer and uh, the new one out with the old and in with the new that's what we say and it's going to be newer and better than ever and uh, lighter more powerful stiffer uh, we'll see what happens inside see there was a lot of things that happened inside there <laughs> anyway uh, Maybe we won't have to do all that in the new one. It'll be nice and open and airy. Anyway, <laughs> so first step is to strip the old Solo down. And uh, all the memories will be going down with it there. But uh, that's okay. The new one's going to be great. It's going to have flip top sides and flip back and, and all kinds of good stuff. Okay, more headroom too. It's going to be the same height. And all the, same, all the dimensions are essentially the same. It's uh, but it's going to give me a little bit more headroom because it won't have this center bar going down the center of it. Anyway, that's a long story. Here we go. We'll see you on the when we get her going. So why are we doing these reawakening American uh, events? We're doing this because I believe we need to flip this country red with the blood of Jesus. We all need to repent and recalibrate and understand that we now live in a world where the satanic church is suing for their right to defend ritual abortions. Congress is working on H.R. 666. 
John warned us to look out for number 666. Bill Gates has a patent 666. The Google Chrome logo is now literally 666. So let type that in. The Google Chrome logo 666. You can see. John warned us. Look out for the number 666. The number 666. Okay. Well. Just want you to see what we got going here. It looks pretty fantastic here. Uh, there you can see it looks like wings on the front there. Try and get in the center of the view there. That's with its wings spread out. Which there's two cells already mounted. End of business today. I'm tired. But, uh, tailgate's mounted. And the hardware worked out pretty good. Of course, I've still got to paint. Now I want to take the back down for you. So you can see what it's going to look like here. I, uh, functionally, it's, everything's looking great. I, uh, structurally, I'm worried about this little portion right here, where there's nothing but glued joints holding the weight. I really hate that. It gives me this rear window, and it makes a lot of things work, but, uh, the way I'm going to get around that and make it to where I can trust it, is I intend to run a wire around the inside of the frame all the way around corner to corner all the way around tighten it up and uh, you know all the way around the frame and then uh, tighten it up and uh, pull it all together and that should structurally take care of my my worries about the you know it won't be just a glued joint then anyway check it out ain't that cute as can be <laughs> Now, I, was, I still haven't glued the front to the top of the windshield. All that had to be kind of carefully figured out. I may even just rebuild the whole little windshield thing. I don't know anyway. It was a little frustrating there, but we got it finally. Anyway, uh, there, a little solo's coming along. Good morning. Okay. Uh, so here we are. We're doing our uh, final assembly. Um, the top cell's mounted. Back cell's mounted. And this is how nice it functions. And I have a, each one will have its own support post which holds the end out. Gives it real good support. It's gonna work pretty good, it looks like. Um, got the paint on there. I've uh, rounded a few corners in the new design. Uh, made a little sporty there. I intend to take the, uh, I got a different kind of uh, plexiglass or Lexan. I didn't use Lexan this time. They scratched up so bad the last time. I wasn't very happy with it. So I got something different this time. I'm going to try and uh, use a heat gun and place it on it and get it mounted. And I've got it oversized. Hopefully roll the edges over a little bit and make a cool, uh, a little cooler, stiffer windshield. Maybe even with some little shelves here where it rolls around here. I'm not sure how this is all going to function here. It'd be nice to have a little dashboard. <laughs> anyway, okay, it's coming along nice. Good morning. Uh, um, Good morning. I brush my teeth? Not yet. Okay. A little work for me. Uh huh. this wire stuck around here. I've got it down one side. I need to wire in there because 
the weight of the solar cell will only be supported um, by the, the glue and the PVC joints unless I run this wire around on the inside and tie it off real good and uh, tighten it up and then it's uh, it's got a secondary support that uh, should be adequate. But getting it around it is tricky. I drilled holes in the corners which already had holes for the hinges uh, on the one side but I drilled them on the other side. Now getting it, see Getting it through that little hole there is really tricky. See. And push it at the same time. I find the gravity kind of helps if I uh, just give me the right spin. There it goes. <laughs> it went. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. Now, getting at the corner, though, is uh, this is an easy part to get a mess up here. Uh, when this loops down, pulling it through this little hole here, it's uh, a little tricky. Trying not to get it to kink when, by its nature, going through that little hole it has to kink. Okay, that's two sides already. So we'll run around this last side, I mean this second, third side. <laughs> anyway, there we go. I like to try and straighten it out as I feed it in. So that it's like, you know, kind of close or whatever. And then it hits the end. I give it a little spin around here. Never seems to work in the upright position. If I get gravity going, it kind of helps.
out the back there I want to cut it off as short as I can pull it up as much as I can and then we'll go down there and there you go nice secure frame doesn't weigh very much that wire is not 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 too much to ask for weight but it adds a lot of strength so there's a Another little nifty for you. Okay. I'll see you there. Okay. How many improvements? Have we got here? I'm going to go through them. For one thing, the frame is all stiffened up compared to the old design. Um, swing out sides is going to give it a lot more uh, charging capability. I'm going to go ahead and utilize the 48 volt system. I'm going to wire them in series into my 48 volt charge controller which the 48 volt system will be exclusively to run the tricycle motivate it uh, my intent the battery has a load side load out and a, and a charge in and uh, I'm going to my intent is to wire the um, the battery to the charge side of the battery and the load to the load side of the battery in a with a uh, a splitter to go to the to the motor and energize the bike anyway that's my intent and the sweet part of that is that I'm still going to be able to retain all my 12 volt features as and it'll be a like an auxiliary or true auxiliary backup and uh, I'll gain the efficiency of the 48 volt system going straight into the you know I'll be able to run off the Sun exact uh, directly and uh, 
and I'll have my 110 volt. So I'm going to have the best of everything, looks like. And I'll still be able to do my shows. And uh, I, I even, I've got a little bit better cargo space now, it looks like. Uh, everything's going to be better. I, uh, I still have yet to wire up all the lights and everything. And, uh, and I'm, real, I'm a little bit uh, I was sketchy on wiring up this 48-volt uh, system like that. I'm sure that's going to work okay, but I'm, I'm a little iffy on it. Uh, I'm going to take it outside when I hook it up and kind of check the output and uh, see. You know, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be like 80 to 100 volts that it's going to be putting out, uh, especially in this configuration. Uh, and then the charge controller will knock that down to 48 volts. Anyway, uh, pretty cool, huh? Yo Solo is a real deal now. You're all going to have to take and look at that. It's, uh, it's a lot more stable. I've lost some weight, actually. I've, uh, I lost about 20 to 30 pounds, I think. I'm pretty sure. And, uh, I've gained twice the power. It's a nice stiff frame, so it should be a lot, it should handle a lot better. It's still going to be a little top heavy and a little tricky because it's a trike, but uh, we're getting there. We're really getting there now, and uh, this is a viable vehicle now. Here, you guys and gals, you need to you need to look this over now. It's uh, I put this together on the short. You know, it's not too bad with this PVC and uh, the way I'm wiring it. My PVC and wire construction. I guess I should patent that, but it works pretty good. And it's uh, pretty tricky. It's light and it's quick. And it works good. Okay. Anyway, the Solo is the real deal. Check that baby out. And look at them solar panels. Looks like uh, something I see on Mars or on the moon or something. <laughs> Can you imagine that going down the road like that? <laughs> anyway, it looked like, a, like an airplane. More than a, than a car. Anyway, or, or bicycle, tricycle. Anyway, trikes is 50% better than bikes. Four out of five, your mamas agree. Yeah.